Now that we know how to build the three primitive gates from NAND gates, we can now start building other chips directly using them, keeping in mind that ultimately we are making them using only NAND gate. To make an XOR gate, we look at its truth table. The XOR output is true only when the inputs are different from each other. We derive boolean expressions that makes the output true. We perform AND operations on the input of each row, flipping the false input with NOT operation so that the AND operation result is true. We do AND operation because the input should have exactly the values reported in a row. We then do OR operation on the rows because only one combination of input is enough to get a true output from the XOR gate. We cannot simplify this expression any further. We confirm that this method works by building another truth table. This is going to be our final combination of the gates to make an XOR gate. We can now start building the XOR chip. The XOR chip has two inputs and one output. For the parts, we need two NOT chips two AND chips and one OR chip. We connect the first input to the input of the first NOT gate and connect its output to an internal pin which we name NOT A. We connect the second input to the input of the second NOT gate and connect its output to an internal pin which we name NOT B. Now we connect the first internal pin and second input to the first AND chip and connect its output to an internal pin which we name NOT A and B. We connect second internal pin and first input to the second AND chip and connect its output to another internal pin which we name NOT B and A. After that, we connect the last two internal pins to the OR chip as inputs and finally its output to the output of the XOR gate. We then simulate and test the chip.